What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over some items that you probably don't need to be hoarding in Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus, for having its limited supply of Pokemon, actually has quite a number of evolutionary items, although some aren't necessary at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> Real quick, before I get into stuff, YouTube sent out a notification to all content creators that they were doing another one of their subscriber purges, where they get rid of fake BS and bot accounts. Because of that, sometimes they unsubscribe real people like you who knew that you were subscribed to me for a long time. You may become unsubscribed now. So now's a great time for you to just scroll down a little bit and see if you're subscribed because I can't tell you how many times people like, I swear I subscribe. One of my best friends swears that they were subscribed to me. I know that they were subscribed to me because I hit the button, but YouTube unsubscribed them. So now's a great time for you to go and look at that button. I was going through my inventory and I realized that I have so many evolutionary items and I don't really think I need them. So I decided to make a chart actually comparing and contrasting every single item that's really needed for this entire game. And it turns out there's not a lot of them. Here is all of the evolutionary items that you actually need in the game. And I started putting stars by the ones that either I have the Pokemon ready for or I actually don't even need anymore. I don't want to keep buying them from the Ginkgo Guild guys now that we have our option of three items in version 1.1. In addition to that, I, I don't want them hoarding up my inventory. I've done so many space-time distortions in order to get all the alphas of the starters and shinies of the starters before version 1.1 that now I have a plethora of these items. In addition, through casual gameplay, completion of the decks, and perfecting inventories, you may have a plethora of these items as well. So I wanted to break it down to what do you even really need? I want to go over the items that I would ever need throughout an entire playthrough. That means completion of a Pokedex page. Now, completion is not the same thing as level 10. For example, if I were to look at Scyther's Pokedex entry, let's head down to S, you can see that on Scyther's page, it doesn't say anywhere that he needs to evolve. It just says different number of forms you've obtained. That means I need a male and a female. I don't need to ever evolve Scyther. And now that we have version 1.1 in a Scyther outbreak, you can have wild cleavers show up. Previously, the only way to get Scyther to evolve to Cleavor was with Black Augurite, but it's not even needed. Looking at Scissor's page, you, you don't need to evolve it for Scissor or anything, and you can catch Scissor readily available in the space-time distortions in the Alabaster Icelands. So therefore, Black Augurite isn't even really needed at all in the entire game to complete any Pokedex page. So going forward, if you come across any Black Augurite, put a star on it. And when I say put a star on it, I mean when you sort your inventory and you see it with the star, you know immediately that you're allowed to sell it and it's never going to affect you negatively. Granted, if you come across a shiny Scyther and you wanted to evolve it to shiny Scizor, you could very easily go get yourself a black Augurite after doing a Graveler outbreak. You'll be fine. While there are many Pokemon who require the Water Stone, the only one in this entire game is Eevee, which brings me to an interesting point that you need to evolve 10 Eevees. I've only done six so far, but you don't need the Eevee Pokedex entry to evolve in anything else. Like if I go to Espeon's page here, it says number caught five. That means that either I could catch them in space-time distortions or I could evolve Eevees. So it's my option on what I want to do. And the fact that I need five of them, all that friendship that's required. Yes, I could grab a whole bunch of them at low levels, put them in my party, run around, knock out some high level Pokemon. But still, I don't need to. So why would I? I don't plan on ever doing that, if I'm going to be honest with you. And the fact that there are two evolutions that you could achieve without stones being Glaceon and Leafeon just by walking over to the rock. The water stone, you, you don't need any. You don't need any water stones in the entire game, so start selling them off. <laughs> now we get into Pokemon that actually needed to evolve, and beginning of that is Gligar. Gligar, you're gonna see that you only need to evolve one. That means that, in theory, you only need one Razor Fang throughout the entire game. Go to your Pokedex entry, see if you evolved a Gligar yet. If not, use a Razor Fang on it. Once you're done, 
start selling them off. Gliscors are readily available. You have to catch 10 in total. There is an alpha that constantly respawns in the Coronet Highlands. You're fine. For Petalil, you only need to evolve one ever but you need to have a total of five Lilligans. Well, now Lilligans can be in massive mass outbreaks. You don't need to evolve five Petalil anymore. Once you have your one required, get rid of it. Now that I've got so many shiny Pokemon, I like using the shiny image here, but I'm so used to knowing exactly what they look like by their colors that now it's throwing me off a little bit. I know, suffering from success. Voltorb, you only need to evolve one, but you need to have a total of five. Again, Massive Mouse Outbreaks completely negates all of that, so you're good to go. The only other Pokemon that requires a Leaf Stone is Eevee, or Leafeon. But again, you don't even need that because you go over to the Big Rock. That brings us to the Gen 4 specific evolutions, including Pokemon like Rhydon, which needs the Protector, Porygon 2, which needs the Dubious Disc, Electabuzz, which needs the Electorizer, Magmar, which needs the Magmarizer, Clefairy, who needs the Moonstone, Happening, who needs the Oval Stone. There's also Ursaring, who needs the Peat Block, Dusclops, who needs the Reaper Cloth, Porygon, who needs the Upgrade. All of these items, you're gonna be getting them, and then I think I have like 14 protectors right now. I don't need all of those. However, for the Porygon line, that's a little bit of a different story because the chance of a Porygon showing up in the space-time distortions is not really great at all. So because of that, you only need to evolve three Porygon, but you need to obtain five Porygon 2 and five Porygon Z. I think Porygon Z is like, I'm not even gonna look it up, but I think it's like 3% or 4%. Just catch five Porygons. You're already gonna have the upgrades and the dubious discs. Just take those five Porygon, evolve them Porygon 2, evolve them Porygon Z, you're done. I think it's crazy that Clefairy's the only Pokemon that needs the Moonstone. Oval Stones are a joke. Getting Happenies is harder than getting Oval Stones. That brings us to the Ice Stone. In theory, you need zero. <laughs> Because you are given the gift of Alolan Vulpix. That isn't a picture of Alolan Vulpix. Where's Alolan Vulpix's picture? Oh, I don't have Alolan Vulpix's picture because I'm pulling from my Alpha Dex and Alolan Vulpix does not exist in, in that form. So again, shout out to Kingdom. Kingdom Keller, my buddy, taught me how to use Excel like a grown up. Yeah, you can, you only get one Alolan Vulpix throughout the entire game. Kind of weird that they didn't add them to the massive mass outbreaks in my opinion. And also, Eevee, who again, you never need to use an ice stone. Instead, you just go to the ice lands, go to the big old icy stone that's underground, and boom, you're good to go. In theory, you kind of need zero ice stones ever, because you don't need to ever evolve that Vulpix. There's no reason to unless you want the Ninetales Pokedex entry. That's kind of also split between needing three Vulpix to evolve between either form. So it's your choice if you're going to be doing that with the Ice Stones or as we're going to be looking down later at the Fire Stones. When it comes to the Shiny Stones, you need three Togetics and three Rosalias. So that's a total of six. This is actually one of the highest items that you need. Metal Coats, again, you never need to evolve a Scyther. You only need one Metal Coat for Onyx. And if you ever need a Metal Coat, oh, golly who carries it steelix is steelix magnemite magneton magnezone so maybe while you're in the coastlands while you're catching your magnemites in order to do this you're going to be good to go the razor claw is needed for either sneasel or hisuian sneasel but you only need to do it once ever you've always been able to get weavile in the space-time distortions although they're rare but now you could also get sneezler in the 1.1 outbreaks so you only need to do one ever. Murkrow, you only need to evolve one. Mistrevious, you only need to evolve one. Nosepass and Magneton still follow the old mechanic that they can evolve in Coronet Highlands. I think pretty much anywhere on the map because that's considered a magnetic field. Pikachu, you need to evolve three. And then Eevee, you come to the weird thing of Eevees to evolve. So in theory, you only need three Thunderstones ever. I guarantee right now you have more than three Thunderstones. Dawnstones, one female snow runt, three Curlia, total of four in total. Hisuian Growlithe, you need to do it once. You don't need to do Eevee. In theory, you need at least two Vulpix. So yeah, you need at least three Firestones in total. The Lincoln Cord is the most used evolution item in the entire game, requiring you to have 12 in total or someone else to trade with. I'm assuming that you're not gonna be trading with anyone because you could do everything on your own. So you're gonna need 12 Lincoln Cords in total. But between all that, it's pretty easy. Like me personally, I'm going through and I've started to put together a little a little hit list of what I need to do, a little shopping list of Pokemans to go catch. 
which is this one right here. I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna be using these evolution items. Although, last night, while I was trying to get myself a female Ursa Ring, because now it's an alpha dex, but it's also a form dex, because now I have all five Rodoms, so now I need all the gender specific ones. Yay for all six Burmies I need to get. I have one Wormadam. I was lucky enough to get myself an alpha shiny Ursa Ring. So, he's probably gonna be the one that I'm gonna evolve. <laughs> With these peat blocks again do this get these items out of your inventory if you ever come across needing one again either buy it from the ginkgo boys exchange your merit points whatever you want to do for that go for it but biggest thing get them out of your inventory there's no reason to keep them here future austin is going to be taking this excel chart and he's going to be putting it on the screen right now people always ask me for downloads of my excel files i have some slight ptsd of people trying to download my excel sheets for Animal Crossing, but they weren't copying them to their own drive. They were just viewing my drive to the point that I couldn't access my own files. So I'm no longer doing that. Instead, feel free to screenshot the screen right now. And that's all the Pokemon that you're gonna need, all the evolution items that you're gonna need throughout the entire game. I just kind of wanted to make this video as a quality of life talking point, something I'm doing. Completing these Pokedex entries is never gonna require more than the amount of items that I've listed here. I also decided to put them all into one specific thing just so I could see them a little bit easier. If you didn't know, which I actually didn't realize this at first, I can just like make one of these boxes just for these evolution items. And now we're looking at box one. If I go and I move it all back, it's going to jump to the box that it's put in. So you could just put all your evolution items in here. And if you're not the type of person who likes to, you know, just hit the minus button for organized item storage all the time, then that works. And I'm going to withdraw all the items that I may possibly need. We're going to figure this out one by one. And we're going to be good to go from there. Great. Well, there you go, guys. That's just a little quality of life tip for your Legends Arceus adventure and uh, getting those items out of your storage because... I don't know about you, I need all the money I could get right now trying to do all those little uh, Path of Solitude quests and I'm still working out a good solid strategy for the, for the Arceus battles. That's fun. That's fun. I do like that this update added a lot more battling. The Path of Solitude, there's some fun scenarios in there that you need to work through. Most of them are the mission quests like Magikarp, you need to survive two self-destructs from an Electrode. That's fun stuff. But anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. For continued Nintendo game coverage, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Austin John out.